Hi, this is Rika Brandon, and this week's quick tip is how to turn the great resignation into a great recruiting opportunity. So you can't hardly touch your phone or open a newspaper without seeing stuff about the great resignation. And yet again, a record number of people gave their notice or changed jobs. So what I wanna talk about is the flip side of this opportunity, because it's easy to get focused on the fear of losing your current employees and miss the opportunity that it provides as people are really adjusting. A couple of things happened during the pandemic. People realized that they wanted to work their work to mean more. They wanted to have a better work-life balance, and they also recognized that they didn't feel very valued and appreciated by their current employers, and that makes them, one, much more likely to look for opportunities online, and two, much more likely to return calls from recruiters and staffing agencies. So what I'm going to talk about today are three ways that you can help your company turn the great resignation into the great recruiting opportunity. So the first thing is we want to look within. The reality is no matter how many people we bring in the front door, if we're losing two for everyone out the back door because we can't keep people, we're wasting a lot of time, energy, effort, and money on recruiting. So the first step is to really make sure that you're a company and a culture and a place that people want to come to if they're not feeling valued and appreciated at their current job. So with that, We look within and I want you to look at your current employees and recognize that there's been a lot of struggles and a lot of challenges over the last two years as we've, well, two plus years, as we've navigated the pandemic. So I want you to look and make sure they feel valued and appreciated. If you yourself are feeling kind of exhausted, chances are good they are too. So what we want to do is we want to acknowledge that, like at a minimum, we want to be catching people doing something right and praising them publicly. The second thing we want to do is surprise and delight them by giving them either an extra bonus, an employee appreciation bonus, or a bonus day off, or a day that we just decide to close the location simply because of the fact that we recognize everybody's worked really hard. Now, some of you are thinking right now, well, that's not possible. I can't possibly do that. Then I need you to shift your thinking to be like, what can I do to show them that I value and appreciate them as individuals and all the work they've done to help the business through these very challenging times. Okay, so that's the first one is we want to make sure we're taking care of the people we already have and recognizing that it might be an okay time for some of those people who aren't a great fit to find their way to a different place, right? This is an excellent opportunity for top grading if you're paying attention and looking for the opportunity instead of the challenge. So the second thing is we really want to do and really to turn this great resignation into a great recruiting opportunity is we want to make sure our talent brand or employer brand um, is really tight and people understand why we're great and they want to work for us. So one of the things that we do with clients is we help them actually look at their employer brand. We assess and advise like what's good, what's not, and we help them get a plan so they can have a rock and talent brand. I like to call it becoming a talent magnet, Um, but it's something you can do internally as well. I want you just to look and think, okay, Do people know we exist? Do they know what our core values are? Are we demonstrating that on social media in any of our advertising? Is that coming across? And chances are it might not be because you haven't been thinking about it. Um, And so with that, we want you to really think about how do we let people know? Because of course your customers want to buy from you because of your values and your culture and your delivery and your price. Um, Employees want those same things too. So we can merge them and there's a lot of crossover But we also need to be really focused on recognizing that letting the world know that we're involved in community activities, we donate to numerous things, that we have our employees uh, be able to have a mental health day if they need it, that we pay 100% of their health insurance premium, whatever those perks and benefits you have, we want to make sure that one, not only does every hiring manager and every HR person in your company understand them, and maybe even has a cheat sheet on their desk about why your company is amazing, we want to start to make sure that message is being dripped out to the public. And as I say all the time, many of you haven't built have like rock and sales profiles and followings and things like that. So in some ways, you're going to invest some of your recruitment marketing budget into paying to play, right? We want to get those messages and that opportunity in front of our target hires, and we might need to pay to play. Just talking about how great we are to our 17 company followers isn't probably going to do anything much, right? So just recognize that you want to be strategic and you want to be intentional, but you do need to make sure that you have a company and a brand that is visible to outsiders that you're a great place to work. 
And so that's the thing that's really the key of this point is that great culture you have, that you know, sense of belonging, that we're all in it together, whatever it is that makes your company you needs to be visible to people on the outside. And that's truly what your talent brand is or your employer brand. Of course, as a recruiter, I like to say talent brand, more common vernacular is employer brand. So that's the second thing, right? We need to make sure our talent brand is on point and we need to sure, make sure that everything about our culture and how we work is visible to outsiders. You don't have to be an employee to understand the power of being an employee and why you'd want to be one. The last thing is, and I touched on this a little bit in number two, is really using social media to get the word out. As we talked about, we want to make sure that talent brand is visible to outsiders, but how do we get it in front of people? So some of the easy ways are to look at your glass door review and profile. Is it up to snuff? Do you have a few more negative reviews than you'd like? Um, you know, you shouldn't make employees give you positive reviews. It just feels icky, right? And they're going to remove them as soon as they leave. But you do want to encourage people to do it. And if they feel inspired to leave a review, maybe they get a Starbucks gift card. Maybe they get a $10 Amazon gift card. Whatever it is, you know, let people choose to do it and then reward them if they do it. You know, they might just do it out of the goodness of their heart, but you're going to get a lot more of them if you put a little carrot at the end of that. So with that, you know, Glassdoor, um, certainly social media, Indeed has company profiles and reviews and things like that. These are very tangible parts. And we are in a place right now where very few job seekers take a job offer without reviewing what it says on places like Glassdoor and Indeed. Reviews are becoming more and more important in this world. And that is not just around hiring, that is around everything. Like who doesn't go to Yelp to figure out where they wanna eat and look at the number of reviews on Google before making a decision. So just know that there's some places that you can go that are gonna have a lot of bang for your buck. And that is, you know, your Glassdoor and your Indeed profile are easy starts. And then social media is how you can proactively start to get the word out to your talent pool. Now, if you're hiring only in Milwaukee, you don't care about, you know, Manhattan and getting in front of them, you want to focus those efforts on that local market and really make sure it's popping up in the places. And in a perfect world, you could use omni-channel marketing to make sure we're hitting people at different places just to plant that seed and create that awareness that you're a great place to work. So this are, these are my three tips for you to turn the great resignation into the great recruiting opportunity. Thanks so much and have a great week.